Hello, welcome. In this short video, let us look at an example illustrating the Windows method for FIR filter design. Specifically, we are going to look at rectangular window. Specifically, we are going to look at a uh, design of a symmetric low pass filter with the following uh, frequency response. That is the desired. That is, we are given the desired frequency response as H A of omega is equal to e power minus j m minus 1 by 2 omega for uh, values of omega less than omega c and 0 otherwise. So basically we are looking at a flat response in the interval minus omega c to plus omega c and 0 uh, flat response of value 1 and uh, value 0 outside the interval. This is the h of omega that is absolute value of h of omega. And this is of course zero. Now, in the for the phase uh, spectrum, that is the phase response. It is basically a linear phase. So this is zero, and this one is minus of m minus one by two omega. That is the slope is minus of m minus one by two. So that's a phase term. H angle of H A of. Now our goal is to design uh, both the time domain. Uh, that is the impulse response of the filter using a rectangular window and also its frequency response. So for the uh, for this purpose we need to first compute the uh, time domain structure that is we have to compute the inverse inverse Fourier transform of HA of omega that is we need to have HA of n which is inverse Fourier transform that is 1 by 2 pi integral minus pi to plus pi HA of omega e power j omega n d omega. So this is the inverse Fourier transform of HA of omega and this will give us the time domain structure that is the uh, impulse response of the ideal filter or impulse response of the desired filter. Uh, it gives us the uh, inverse Fourier transform of given HA of omega. So this is equal to 1 by 2 pi and the value of HA of omega is e power minus uh, j m minus 1 by 2 omega that means and the uh, value is valid only from minus omega c to plus omega c e power minus j a omega where a is m minus 1 by 2 and then e power j omega n d omega. So this integral is basically an exponential integral so uh, the value is e exponential of j n minus a omega divided by n minus a into j and the limits are minus omega c to plus omega c upon uh, by substituting these values and then simple algebra we can clearly see that this one will be equal to 1 by 2 pi e power j n minus a omega c minus e power minus j n minus a omega c divided by j into n minus a and this uh, and then we can identify the definition of the sine function here in terms of exponentials and we can write this one as uh, sine of n minus a omega c divided by n minus a into pi. So that is HA of n. So that is the time domain response or time domain sequence corresponding to the desired frequency response. Now we can compute the uh, actual uh, FIR filters impulse response H of n as HA of n multiplied by W of n. For the rectangular window W of n is simply equal to 1 for values of uh, n from 0 to m minus 1 and it is 0 elsewhere. Therefore, h of n is simply equal to the function sine of n minus a omega c divided by n minus a into pi for values of n between 0 and m minus 1. Now let us assume that m is equal to 5 and a is equal to m minus 1 by 2. In that case, h of n will be equal to sine of n minus 2 in and omega c is equal to 1 radians per second. So given this information, h of n will be equal to sine of n minus 2 divided by n minus 2 into pi. So that is the definition of the uh, impulse response, that is the value of the impulse response for the required fil FIR filter, that is using the rectangular window. And the values of n are from 0 to 4. Now the frequency response, that is h of omega, which is basically the Fourier transform that is DF, DTFT uh, of this H of n can be computed, computed as follows. That is it is equal to H of n is sine of n minus 2 by n minus 2 pi. So 
summation n equal to 0 to m minus 1 sin of n minus 2 divided by n minus 2 into pi multiplied by e power minus j omega n. Therefore, h of omega can be explicitly written as follows. So, for n equal to 0, we have sin of minus 2 by minus 2 uh, and then there is 1 by pi and then there is e power 0. So, it must be the first term must be 1 by 2 pi sin 2 and for n equal to 1 we will have 1 by pi sin of minus 1 by minus 1 and e power minus j omega. So, it will be sin 1 multiplied by e power minus j omega and the third term that is n equal to 2 we have sin of 0 by 0 so it means uh, under the limit it becomes 1. So, it will be 1 by pi e power minus j 2 omega and the next term will be n equal to 3. So, 1 by pi again sin of 1 e power minus j 3 omega and the last one will be n equal to 4. So, it will be 2 minus 4 minus 2 2. 2 so, 1 by 2 pi sin of 2 and then e power minus j 4 omega. So, that is the frequency response of the uh, uh, FIR filter, the designed FIR filter. So, to summarize, we have looked at the Windows method for designing an FIR filter. So, given the uh, frequency response or the desired frequency response as H a of omega equal to e power minus j m minus 1 by 2 omega for values of omega between minus omega c and plus omega c and 0 for other values. So, this is basically a linear phase FIR filter. Uh, with symmetric structure around 0. So, the first step is to compute the time domain response of this desired response that is H a of n which is the inverse Fourier transform of H a of omega which is uh, upon simple uh, calculations is found to be sin of n minus a omega c divided by n minus a into pi. So, in this example uh, we are using rectangular window. So, h of n will be h a of n into w of n where w of n is a rectangular window from 0 to m minus 1. So, H A of uh, then the final filter that is H of n the impulse response of the FIR filter is sin of n minus a into omega c divided by n minus a into pi for values of n between 0 and m minus 1. So, in this example we assume the following values for the parameters that is capital M is equal to 5 that is the length of the FIR filter is 5 a is equal to m minus 1 by 2 the constant a is m minus 1 by 2 and the cutoff frequency omega c is 1 radians per second. So, h of n, h of n will be simply sin of n minus 2 by n minus 2 pi and the values of n are from 0 to 4. And now, we can also compute the frequency response of this FIR filter uh, by simply applying DTFT on this uh, uh, derived h of n and then uh, the explicit the explicit form of h of omega is found to be uh, 1 by 2 pi sin 2 plus 1 by pi sin 1 of e power minus j omega. Uh, I mean multiplied by e power minus j omega and then plus 1 by pi e power minus j 2 omega plus again another another 1 by pi sin 1 e power minus j 3 omega and the last term will be plus 1 by 2 pi sin 2 e power minus j 4 omega. So, that is the explicit form of the frequency response of the FIR filter. Thanks for watching.